And now, News 10 Today continues. Thanks, everyone, for joining us today. Rusty Barr is our guest in studio. He's Chief Executive Officer of the Boys and Girls Clubs in our community. This club is just bursting at the seams, but there's always room for more, I hear, during your summer activities. Well, we have plenty <laughs> of room in the summer program because we're all over the city. So we're at the swimming pools, we're at parks, we have an adventure program. So there's always room in the summer. So you uh, are accepting youngsters, memberships, children ages 5 through 18? That's correct. Okay. As we're going to be talking about in our half-hour newsmaker program, you know, Rusty said there are some really cool changes ahead in meeting the challenges of growth. Uh, you're not look at, looking at physically expanding, but kind of restructuring a bit to accommodate a thousand members. Well, we are looking at physically uh, expanding as well, so uh, that's one of our strategic initiatives to be looking at. But we are moving up to about 13 groups now uh, to make sure that every group is, you know, under that 20 children per group, you know, like a classroom. And so uh, we're going to be expanding, adding home ec and a, another fitness component. And so we're pretty. We're pretty excited about the changes. All right. And if parents are interested, obviously, in supporting uh, boys and girls clubs, finding out about uh, the programs there, always a good idea just to stop by the clubs there on uh, Country Club Drive. Well, we're yeah. there mm -hmm. from uh, 7.30 in the morning till 6 at night. We'd love to give you a tour. You need to see what the Boys and Girls Club is all about. You know, like we talked earlier, everybody that hasn't been to the club thinks we're just child care. Once you come to the club and you see what the children are actually doing, you know, it'll change your mind and you'll want your child there. There's a lot of ownership, a lot of responsibility. I mean, in fact, you're just developing some of those character qualities. Well, I mean, our number one goal is to give children a uh, future, and that takes a lot to do that, but uh, keeping their grades up, uh, being diverse in their skill set, having a safe place to be, and so we, we really develop the children, give them a chance to fu fulfill their maximum potential. And you do get support from the community. I guess you could always use more. Well, we can always use more. We've got a couple major fundraisers coming up right now. Our golf tournament on August 30th. We do have a 4th of July party in Wells here. Um, so, yeah, we always have fundraising opportunities. Our, our annual support campaign, we have over 500 donors that support the club. And, uh, you know, it takes a lot of money to make sure that the children in our community are successful. Of course, Rusty Barr is the Chief Executive Officer, Boys and Girls Clubs of Elko. You can find them online at bgcelko.org. That's also a, a good resource uh, to register if you want to register online for this golf tournament that's coming up on the 30th. And again, Rusty talked about the 4th of July party that's going to be in Wells City Park on the 4th from noon to 4. Just $10 for a wristband gets you all kinds of rides, right. uh, delicious food served, and again, proceeds will benefit the Wells Boys and Girls Club. That's right. All right. So we'll continue visiting in studio with Rusty Barr, CEO of Boys and Girls Clubs.